What is up YouTube? It is your boy Nismo Kev and I got another video for you guys today. Today it's going to be sponsored by Corbo. If you guys haven't already seen from the bottom right here, your boy has partnered with Corbo to bring you guys some quality seats. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing and then we're going to get into the install video and I'm going to show you guys how to bypass the SRS airbag module because I know a lot of you guys that go aftermarket seats, you guys are worried about you know the airbags if the lights going on and if they're still gonna work. So I will address all of that in this video. So first things first, let's get to unboxing this real quick. We'll give you guys a time lapse. Ooh, shout out to Corbo. Got your boy with the drip. Ooh, these seats look amazing. Give you guys a little bit of a side profile here. Corvo for the win. Oh man. Quality. Quality. Let's get on with the install. Hey guys, so what you want to do to start off, you want to disconnect the battery. I went ahead and did mine already. You want to make sure you have no charge in the car whatsoever because if the car battery is still on, when you disconnect the sensors on the bottom of the seats, you will get the airbag light on and you will have to reset it, which will be annoying. So make sure you disconnect all that before we get started. And then from there, we can start taking the seats out. So they're just going to be four bolts, which are covered by these caps right here and right here so two in the front two in the back so i'm gonna give you guys a quick time lapse take that off and then we'll go from there okay guys i went ahead unbolted it and as you can see you see there's this cable coming from the floor of the car it is connected to this yellow one here which is the srs so this is what you're gonna have to keep from your oem seat you can either plug straight into the harness coming from the floor or you can snip it from here and here's where we're going to connect our 4.7 ohm resistors so i'm gonna go ahead and take these off and then i'll pick it up from there okay guys i have the passenger seat here and you're gonna have to take two things from it you're gonna see this plug right here for the srs you can snip it like right here give yourself a bit of room because we're gonna have to solder some resistors to it which i have right here so you're gonna solder those two resistors to the ends, I'll show you guys. But the other thing you have to do, if you wanna get rid of the airbag light, you have to tear this seat apart um, because there is a sensor inside here called the occupancy sensor. And you need both in order to get rid of the light, in order to stop it from appearing, in order for your airbags to work. If you don't wanna tear into your stock seat, you can go find a spare one. So that's what I did. Found one local to me on OfferUp. Cool guy, sold it to me for the low for 80 bucks. Got a seat, airbags intact, had him popped. Went ahead, tore that one apart in order to get to the sensor. In order to get to the sensor, if you're gonna tear yours apart, four bolts, pretty much remove the frame from it. And then there's gonna be a bunch of these hog rings all over, there's probably like 20. It's gonna take you like a legit 15, 30 minutes to get all those rings off in order to get inside the cushion which is what gives you this sensor right here. And so what we're gonna do is, I pretty much wrapped it under this piece of cardboard on the bottom. The sensors are pretty much this. This is what you're gonna salvage. You're gonna plug back into what was coming from the floor on that side, along with this yellow clip that's on here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a time lapse. Make sure you do both of these things for the passenger in order for it to work. If not, then you get the airbag light. And if you're okay with that, well then you can skip this part of the video. So for those of you who are interested in this, just keep posted. Okay guys, so once you went ahead, snipped the sensor from the passenger seat, it's pretty much just a piece of tape. You're just gonna wanna unroll this. We're pretty much gonna wire together with the resistor. So, for those of you interested 
which one it is like I said earlier it is a 4.7 ohm not 4.7 K 4.7 ohm half watt okay so we're pretty much gonna get our wire strippers we're gonna strip these tie them to the resistor solder them together and we're good to go okay I went ahead and soldered it uh, I don't know if it'll focus wasn't the best solder job, but hey, I got it done. Now pretty much going to wrap the heat shrink right over it from there, and then you're good to go. You're going to want to repeat this process on the passenger and on the driver's side. And then from there, we're good to go. Okay, guys, I went ahead, snipped off the driver's side. It's the same process. You're just going to want to roll this tape off. Room. I cut off excess just because I like to have extra but you pretty much just need like this much you don't need more than that this will do it so you're gonna want to do the same process you're just gonna snip them go you got your wire now focus uh, struggling focus camera there you go same process Next thing you're going to do, remove the 14 millimeter because you're going to need the seat belt clickers. So once you take the 14 off, there's a screw right here. original bolt because we're going to use that what you need to buy is pretty much the nut for this because they don't provide it but you do need to keep this so when you put it on over there we're plugging this back in over there good to go okay guys for this step you're going to need an allen key because you need to take these off the seat to put them on to the rail so you're going to take those off there's a total of four and we're going to go ahead and throw these on the, on the new. Okay guys, so I went ahead and got the rails. Once you take off the four bolts, I'll try to show you guys up close real quick. There are, you can see, so up close, you can see there is this hole and it should line up pretty much with the thread right there. And so you're going to screw these in the same on the other side. And once you have done that, once those are hand tight, then you can slide the the, the sliders backwards to expose the front tube. And then from there you put the other two and you are good to go. Okay guys, so before I put this back in the car, I'm gonna show you guys a close up of how I mounted the sensor. Pretty much before I put the rails in, I used the cardboard, I put tape all around it just so it could slide in easier. You want the white part facing pretty much up towards the seat because when you sit on it, that's where this moves. I don't know if you can see that bulge. So that's how the sensor detects someone's in the seat. So I pretty much put it on the inside part, slid it all the way in using tape. I taped this part right here just to hold this masterpiece right here. Cut a little slit right here just so this can fold in. Have it all tucked in nice there. That way the rail isn't hitting anything. 
And then from there, when you put it in the car, we're just gonna go ahead and connect this in. So right now, I'm just putting in pretty much the bolts that Corbel supplies back into the rails so that this can hold. And then from there, make sure you put the seatbelt back on. You can use original bolts, but I went ahead and got some extra ones from Home Depot just because they have spacers because pretty much the seatbelt clicker is pretty close to the edge. And so you don't have a lot of room to when you're putting in the seatbelt. So it's kind of an awkward angle. But besides that, it's pretty solid. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap this up and then we'll put it in the car, guys. Damn, those seats look good. So went ahead and put the four bolts back. So you have the harnesses that was coming from the floor. We did our resistor trick. And then all you gotta do now is plug in uh, the, the clicker for the seat belt. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Fail. Let me go ahead and put you guys down right here so you can see this. There you go. Clicker is in. And so now this, you can pretty much just hide it under the seat and you're good to go. Now let's go do the passenger side. Okay guys, so on this side, I went ahead and I plugged in the SRS on this side. Now the only ones we have to plug in there is gonna be the seat belt clicker and the seat weight occupancy sensor. So I'm gonna plug those in once I have the seat bolted in. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. moment of truth plugged in the battery put my seat belt on turning the car on and if you did everything right that light right there should disappear boom just like that that's all it is guys if you want to delete the SRS with the resistors and still have this function this is what you have to do you pretty much have to do the resistor and the sensor trick and you're good to go guys that's all it is if you guys appreciate this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and like in order to help the channel grow, spread information because I know there's a lot of doubts on this on the forums. You don't know what exactly to do, what resistors. So just to recap, they're 4.7 ohm, not 4.7K, 4.7 ohm. And then you have to tear into your passenger seat to get that sensor to pretty much connect it all in. And once you have that set, you're good to go. And then your airbags will pretty much function. This will turn off once it senses someone in the seat, which is why you wanted to keep the whole sensor there in the first place. So hope you guys appreciate this. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and join the channel, help spread information. Peace and love guys. Appreciate you guys. Peace.